Hi Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading. We are changing things up today. Uh, what we're looking at is an extended reading. We're going from July 8th on up through July 21st. I also want to make mention that Mercury Retrograde begins July 8th, runs through August 1st. This is the time frame of the unexpected, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Um, it's really hitting hard on the mechanical side of things. Uh, as far as electronics, cards breaking down, things like that. All I can say, you guys have been warned. Okay? You guys are enjoying these videos. Please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Um, I am using some cards today. We're doing things a little bit differently. We're going to let Spirit lead on the first part of the reading. And I've got a couple of different decks here. But like I said, we are looking at the area of July 8th, running through July 21st. Also, for those that are a fan of the daily readings, they are on hold for a couple of weeks. No fears. They will return. But for a couple of weeks, I uh, am taking off from the dailies. Okay. So, Gemini, looking at what you need to know, July 8th through July 21st. Um, first of all, there's some money coming in. Okay. Um, some new money, something in addition to, something in addition to the, the paycheck. So this could indicate loans coming through. This could be sales of items, things like that. It's something different coming in in the money house. Uh, of course, you're going to be ready to celebrate that. There are going to be some secrets revealed or things that you thought that you suspected are going to be confirmed. A lot of confirmations are going to come in to you guys. Uh, no quick decisions in assignment. I saw this on another sign. Slow down. No quick decisions. Let things play out. Um, there is, in general, for Gemini, there's going to be renewal with someone from the past and someone that you're happy about. Now, for my single Geminis, I'm looking at someone coming back from the past, okay? Uh, and for my my couple Geminis, I'm just looking at a good strong month of love, like flirting and, and date nights and just a ring kindled or just enjoying summertime, okay? Um, there may be a struggle for balance with Gemini. You guys are the twin signs and we are under an odd energy. That's a high, low energy for Gemini uh, coming up for this Mercury retrograde from 7, 8 to 8, 1. And that's going to cause you to feel a little scattered and maybe not trust your intuition, okay? But you do need to tap into your intuitive side and trust that and trust where you're being led. Um, the things that I see Gemini needing to let go of is not people and situations, it's emotions, okay? There's some emotions that are lingering from your past that you need to box up and shelf somewhere. Those emotions need to be let go. There is some celebration, and like I said, I think that has to do with the money part, but then there's also another celebration. It looks like maybe a birthday party, some kind of event or something that you're going to be attending, and that looks good. Um, there are some trust issues here, okay? I don't see you lashing out like as in the tower or something in the tarot. Um, I just see you being very guarded and very defensive with one particular person, okay? Overall, you're positive. Your energy is good. You're very hopeful. Um, it's a good, good time frame for making decisions, not just decisions from, from July 8th to July 21st. Future decisions, uh, fall decisions, winter decisions, decisions of that nature. Good news does come in. This is something you've been waiting on. Um, and there's something here that shows that you've learned a lesson and I go back to that one person that you're skeptical of, and maybe that person has done you wrong before in the past. Okay. So just know that that is present. That's really the only thing I negatively see there. So I'm going to pull you three cards from my Italian deck. Then I have a couple of angel decks here. We're going to look at as well. This is for Gemini. We're looking at July 8th to July 21st on Gemini. So we start with the Emperor. Okay. The Emperor is that dominant controlling type person. Um, someone that you would look up to as a mentor. This is someone that comes in as an unexpected offer of assistance. This is someone you are delighted to hear from. 
Okay, this isn't that person that I'm saying you're skeptical of. This is someone that you're actually very excited to hear from. Okay, with that, we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is movement, movement on the home front. Someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home. This could also be renovations, but definite and positive changes on the home front. Then we have the Eight of Wands, okay? Eight of Wands, total, complete happiness, good luck, things going your way. Things could not look better. So overall, it's looking really good from a Gemini's out there. Okay, now I want to move on to the angel deck and just see if we can get a special message for the time frame of July 8th through July 21st for about Gemini. Someone has jumped out. Focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention that they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Special message from the angels. I don't think I could have said that better. And one more deck. We're going to end with the Romance Angels. Let's see what kind of messages we have there for Gemini. July 8th through July 21st. And what we have here. Passion. Allow your heart, soul to sing with joy. Looking pretty good for the love life. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, subscribe. I will return with your dailies as soon as I am able. And I will see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin reminding you to download the Daily Horoscope app by Cheetah Mobile. Take a look and look for that purple and yellow icon there. It is an app with your daily horoscopes, so much more. Lots of articles, lots of information. You'll also find my videos there as well. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com and have a wonderful day. Bye.